Okay. I'm clearly overdosed for myself and I am actively ramping up as we speak. Yes, my makeup is everywhere, but this is a condition I happen to be in when it hit me, so this is what it is. I noticed when I made plans to do a whole shitload of stuff and I mapped everything out and what kind of time I needed to do the first several steps and all the things, and then I sat there and wasted 10 minutes mapping, just mapping it out, when that 10 minutes could have been better used actively doing the shit, that's when I knew I was ramping up. A little too high and so now here we are there are several things I left half done but several things I really went in on and I got handled somehow I don't know got focused in that one area of that one thing but that's how this really works and I want to I want to record it on camera because we've been misinformed we've been really misinformed about it so this is about as bad as an overdose a general overdose would get my eyes are really heavy, I know that. I can see it on myself in the camera. Lots and lots of cotton mouth, which is your body, which is the me meditation telling your body that you are not properly hydrated. Hydrate, hydrate, bitch. Mm. Look, when you cross the border beyond thirsty into actual dehydration, your actual physical biological body was dehydrating before your eyes and you was letting it happen by simply not drinking water hydrate i can't tell you guys enough and quiet as it's kept it makes you higher guarantee if you properly hydrated as opposed to if you're not i mean you still still gonna hit you either way <laughs> but if you properly hydrated it'll take you to a lighter place more so than a heavy if you don't get nothing done, you won't get nothing done because you was enlightened and distracted by all these enlightenments. Not like the couch lock where you don't get nothing done because you just didn't feel like it. Found a way to procrastinate that shit. And really, I think, what, I think what's happening before your eyes right now is it's getting lighter for me. Which I need because if I'm going to be overdosed, I needed a, a lighter, more functional dose than a um than a couch lock shit matter of fact i need it i'm aware enough to know that i need to turn this camera off and get this shit done because i only have a couple of hours to do it but i wanted you to say what what i wanted you to see for a moment what overdosed was now i'm about to be all over the place you can guarantee that <laughs> you can bet your last dime on that but at least i'll still be productive and semi-productive in a multitude of areas along the way i was heavy than a mug Oh, this was also what I was going to include in this video. Another not discussed symptom that is not necessarily favorable is your eye, especially if you've got eyes over 40 anyway, because eyes are over 40, they, they trip at will, you know, in the blink of an eye, pun intended, uh, your eyes will trip on you. So if you're already struggling with aging eyesight or you wear glasses because you've just been wearing glasses, I would say to people, now I don't know shit, so don't listen to me, but I would say to people that it affects your eyesight in that if you already have poor eyesight, your eyes are going to throw in the towel on you. Like if you get too high, you're going to get to a certain point where your eyes are like, don't put nothing in front of me to read. I'm not going to do it for you. I don't care how much you beg. <laughs> you know how this works. It's not it's nothing personal. I love you. I am you. But I'm not reading shit after 10 p.m. You're pushing it at 9, but I'm going to give you an extra hour so you, you, so you can't say I wasn't fair. And so these are the things your eyeballs will say to you if you get too high. So that is a side effect that's not necessarily favorable because you want to be able to see, right? If anything pop off, it's bad enough. You have to shake, shake your high off and, ju and jump into action. Now I also can't see shit. I'm high and I can't, I'm okay, I'm high. I could, okay, but I could probably pull this shit off. I might pull some magical shit off that probably couldn't pull off if I wasn't high. So that's okay, that'll be fine. But I'm high and I can't see. And my eyes refuse, I don't strike. They're like, no, bitch. I warned you. I warned you. You get all the benefits of this meditation. But you need to be a responsible consumer. Needless to say, if you get too high, and you have eyes over 40 that are either tripping or always have been tripping at whatever age you happen to be. 
then it might not be good for you to get too extreme. You can you can enjoy it, but but don't overindulge because your eyes might just go on strike on your on your bitch ass like mine are right now. Like I can see everything, no problem. I know I'm squinting, but you know how you know how that side effect works. It's a real side effect, so my eyes are heavy. But um, I can see fine, no problem. But if I were to try to read, if I wanted to get on the internet, <laughs> bitch. Okay, if I tried, if I for some forsaken reason decided to read the Bible out of nowhere, I could hang it up. And I'm old enough to realize I couldn't do it, to, I wouldn't be able to do it to save my life. I put my best foot forward because, hey, it's to save my life. <laughs> so that bothers me about judging at a public event. Like, there'd be some reading involved, clearly, because you got to know the names of everything. You got to know what they are, how, what's the per percentage, you know, the content of different elements. So I'm just trying to imagine being that high and having all that stuff to read. I could do it, though. I do it anything for the cause <laughs> I work it out honey I work it out for the cause it's about that struggle that human struggle man okay I said I was gonna turn this camera off I'm really gonna do it and get this shit mostly done and get in the shower before fresh so clean so I can be kind of cute as well